Fuck. Will you be cool? Fuck. You're not cool. You're a dick. Anything in here at least? I forget. No, nothing in here. What about in here? Oh, it's glowy. Lewis's memo. There are some yeah. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among bi biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the Lost Plagas work, and perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Lost Plagas, the Lost Ganados. Here's a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioral patterns of their host. That thing. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm going to be able to bring Dick Once a larva of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. It stays there, immobile, until the next morning, placing the ant where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivore such as sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behavior to make its way into the body of its definitive host. The larva of this parasite makes its home inside the, the brain of a fish, such as the yellow tail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up the water surface where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this particular behavior can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. L Luchadorium. <laughs> Whatever. This parasite spirosis developed in the snail's tentacles. The spirocysts are vivid in color and pulsate continually, somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it is more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Yeah, science names. No fucking way I'm going to be pronouncing that shit. Half the time. Yellow herb. He looks like he was alive until just recently. Judging by the wound, it was a quick death. He was omnommed by predator bugs. And they went... Blah, 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 blah. I'm curious, are there any cloaky predator monsters down here in the water? I don't see any slobber spots. No... No, I, 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 you know what, fuck it. Nom, nom, nom. Health boost. Uh, incendiary. I don't have enough healing. God damn it. Let's see. I have my shotgun out. Huh. I'm not metagaming. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never do that. God damn it! <sighs> Give me the loots. Give me the loots. All the little loots. Give me the loots. Hmm. Sounds like some overly extravagant trap that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, yeah, giant swinging guillotine blades on the walkway. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, mm hmm. I would say who needs that, but. Then again, if I owned a castle, mine would probably be more fucked up. Because then again, if for some reason I owned a castle, it would have to be Castlevania. <laughs> I would make it so Castlevania. It would be the castleest of the Vanias. Just topping off my guns. 
And if that dog doesn't stop barking, we just sell it to the Chinese buffet. Okay, every one of these sons of bitches here has a spinel, except for Goathead there. Captain Goatface has a pendant. Now you want to kind of walk here, because when they detect you, they're going to run away like little bitches and try to escape. So, flashbang through the door. I don't know if I got them all. Shit. Ha! Goat face, you be trapped, motherfucker! Oh. Well, that ain't good. Um, hi! About that. Um, yeah, uh, could. Okay, Captain Rape Face, can. Giant floppy donkey dick hanging out of his throat. Huh? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I got them all, but I got most of them. What the? Ah! What the? Don't even know what the fuck happened right there. Eh, horseshoes and hand grenades. Wait, I did get the Listen Illuminato's pendant, right? Okay. As long as I got the pendant. I got the pendant, everything be cool, yo. Except me trying to talk ghetto. But fuck it. I do what I want, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm fucking hyper for some goddamn reason this morning. I don't know. I'm just in a good fucking mood. I'm just in a good fucking mood. Except when they don't give me fucking red eyes. Then I'm pissy because it's like, goddamn it, I could have completed the thing, sold it to the merchant. But yeah. And here's the elegant mask. Haha. -ha. At least I got a blue eye early. At least, at least, at least I got that. And we have treasure to sell. For upgrades. I mean, uh... Fun and profit. Yeah, I could have taken the stair. I don't think there's any items on... No, no items on the stairs. Welcome! And you still have the same. All you did was walk up Not the fucking rare. stairs. On sale, stranger. Although he sell it. might have more upgrades, maybe. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What like, you buying? Look, we have upgrades and stuff. Okay, it's the same upgrades he had at the start of the chapter, so... He literally just walked upstairs so those guys could worship until I came along and flash naded their faces off. Hey, a red herb. I am in serious need of some fucking healing. I just don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, man. It's, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think I got enough health. I don't think I'll be able to beat the game. Castellan Memo. For many years, the Salazar family has served as the Castellans of this castle. However, not everything is bright, for my ancestry has a dark past. Long ago, there was once a religious group that had deep roots in this region called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellan of the castle took away their rights and powers. As a follower of this religion, as the Eighth Castellan, I feel that it is my duty as well as my responsibility to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for the sin was to give power back to those who we once took it away from, the Los Illuminados. <sighs> you 
getting a drink. Oh fuck, eight pages? Shit. As expected, it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once sealed Las Plagas. With this success, I was one step closer to the revival of the Los Illuminados. The reason why I released the Las Plagas from deep under this castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins of my ancestors, but I felt certain that the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. To save those that have sinned with the power of the Las Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners. <laughs> Religion! <laughs> Go for it! The way it was meant to be. Once cleansed, they would become one of the many Ganados where they will find their reason to live by being parasite tentacle monsters. And after the Lord has succeeded in creating the world in which he has envisioned, then the sins of myself, our family, will be atoned for. <sighs> yeah. What the. Uh huh. A little picture. So. Yes. Um. Oh. Fuck. Wily little cockbite. He has a metal helmet on. You have a. And you have a floppy donkey dick coming out of your mouth, your throat now. Hello. I was like, if you run up here and fucking club me in the face with... I say, if he runs up and clubs me in the face with that thing... Goddamn morning star... Oh well. We're running low on rifle rounds now. It's all Ashley's fault. I don't care about your Spanish STDs. For fuck's sake. I get the clap. Yeah, it's good for you. Leon doesn't give a fuck. Fuck it. Unnecessary. Bonus points. For totally unnecessary action move. Too bad I don't have, like, trip mines. That would be awesome. I could really go for some trip mines right now. Yes, you are a guy with a metal helmet. So, are we gonna have a Mexican standoff here? No. You're just gonna stand there. Uh, what if I shoot you in the dick? Will that motivate you? No, no, it, it, it does not motivate this part. I, I, well, I, I think I hit one of his balls that time. That took him down. Does that motivate you? Or are you a fucking eunuch or some shit? Um, no, there goes his other testicle. If he had any. Does that motivate? You're not gonna come down here. You're, you're gonna stand there and just talk about Cornello or whoever the fuck. There, here, fucking lung shit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I shoot him in the lung and then he comes down here. I after I shoot him in the dick and balls. Here, have a fucking suplex, bitch. That's not even enough to kill him. Okay. Boy.